Hi there, I'm Took Poutine. There are many misconceptions about winter in Canada. Like, for most of us, it actually only lasts one season. And no, we don't live in igloos, subsist solely on the moose we hunt, or need snowshoes to get from A to B. <laughs> Though they can help. Though the days may be cold and short, but there is a place northwest of Toronto where you can make the most of them. Bruce Gray Simcoe serves up some classic and unique activities, and I'm here to unbox them for you with 10 easy steps for the quintessential Canadian winter experience. Let's see what I got in here. Step one, winter hiking the Bruce Trail. I've always wanted to. Oh. The oldest and longest footpath in the country lies atop the Niagara Escarpment. With over 800 kilometers of trail, it's easy to find terrain that's suitable for all ages, all the time. Head towards the starting point in Tobermory for some of the most epic views north of the city. Step two, snowshoeing. Okay, okay, we do some snowshoeing, but this is unlike anything you've experienced. Strap on a pair and tour several regional wineries, including Coffin Ridge and Georgian Hills. Of course, no tour would be complete without sampling the product. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Moving on. Step three is a twist on a Canadian classic. Skating. Nothing says Canadian, eh? Like lacing up a pair of skates. You could play shinny on the local frozen pond, or you could try something different this winter, trail skating. Several locations in Bruce Gray Simcoe offer skating trails that wind through the woods, providing a truly enchanting experience. It's also one more quintessential Canadian winter bucket list item. Check. Tired yet? We'll dig deep because step four is taking us underground. Spelunking. It's Canadian for caving. Guided tours from experienced spelunkers will take you into the cracks and crevices of Metcalf Rock. This network of caverns is complex and is best led by professional tour operators such as Free Spirit Tours or Atlas Adventures. Halfway there, folks, and this box is getting empty. But don't worry, step five is a personal fave of mine. Winter camping. <laughs> and you thought camping was just a summer thing. Parks like McGregor are open year round and give you access to tons of the items on your Canadian winter bucket list from the comfort of your campground. Feed birds, check. Skating, check. Snowshoeing, you bet. Cross country skiing, they've got that too. And of course, no camping trip would be complete without s'mores. Okay, we've covered food and drink. Now it's time to burn some of them cows in something we crazy Canadians like to call a fat bike. Safety first, kids. It's a newer trend to take two wheels to the snow but the tires of a fat bike are specially designed to tackle slippery, snowy ground. Multiple spots in our region offer trails groomed to get the feel for fat biking. And if you're wondering what kind of workout it is, it's Body Break approved. Body Break! Body Break! Now, fat biking is a heck of a workout, but it is an awesome winter experience. So you're looking for a little more speed. We'll look no further than step seven. <laughs> Well, actually, I couldn't fit the prop in here, but don't worry, we're about to hit the slopes with some epic snow tubing. <laughs> real mature, guys, real mature. Snow tubing is like tobogganing without the work of walking to the top. It's all thrill, no hill climbing, and it's available at several resorts in Bruce Gray Simcoe. Snow tubing is a guaranteed good time this winter. Oh, that didn't fill your speed quota? <laughs> We'll try this one on for size. Snow peeling. So snow peeling? <laughs> what? Snowmobiling. The network of trails suited to snowbiles, I mean snowmobiles, is almost endless. 
travel from one end to the other, or stay local and explore areas not accessible by car. That was a lot of speed. So say you want to slow things down a bit. Well, we got you covered with step nine. The Festival of Lights. Taking place in Owen Sound, the festival kicks off in November and goes through the new year. Elaborate displays of light and design bring the winter landscape to life. Don't miss the 30th anniversary of this dazzling event in Owen Sound. So sparkly, just like me. Our final step to unboxing a Canadian winter is so sweet. And also, literally, it is stereotypically Canadian. It's step 10, and it's maple syrup. If associating Canadians with maple syrup is wrong, then I don't want to be right. Ontario's Lake Country is home to maple syrup harvesters that have been honing their craft for 100 some odd years. Tap Into Maple is a must-do late winter event loaded with history, tours, cuisine, and of course, samples of the sticky stuff. What? It's the perfect way to round out your ultimate winter experience in Bruce Ray Simcoe. There you have it. 10 of the best Canadian winter activities in your backyard. We hope you can come out and play this summer. Winter! What she said.